How do we fight back against those who violate us? That is uh, number 63, on, uh, or a question alluding to number 63 on the list of the 144 fractal faculties of the Tree of Life. If you'd like to get a complete listing of uh, kind of an abstract of each one of those uh, 144 fractal faculties of the Tree of Life, just uh, click the link in the description and I'll send you a free copy. Um, also, if you'd like to uh, get a brush up um, on the, your Tree of Life, just watch my video, Tree of Life, A Short Introduction, or Tree of Life, An Introduction, and that should uh, pick you up to the point where you can uh, watch all of these 144 videos and uh, get something out of them. Um, now today, we're looking at number 63, and that is located here in the fifth sphere. Uh, now remember that the fifth sphere has to do with um, basically the uh, our sense of justice our sense of fairness our sense of right and wrong and uh, this is also otherwise known as karma um, and you, so you can think of uh, karma as kind of like a mirror that is here and we are here at the sixth sphere we're acting and attending uh, to the fifth sphere, and it is, you know, what comes around goes around. As you sow, so shall you reap. And uh, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. It's a boomerang or a mirror that's right here. We, what we put in is, is uh, given back to us. And karma basically grades us according to violence, waste and violation. So if we act violently, we get some violence in return. If we act wastefully, we get wastefulness in return. And so um, ultimately it becomes a kind of a feedback loop. Now, now before we can really get to that place, we have to deal with the um, what you call residual karma, which is uh, actually number um, number 18 on this list. And the residual karma is when you, you get karma back, but you don't, uh, it's kind of like past life karma. It's karma that you're not aware of. You're not aware that it's happening. And it's because you haven't lived down your past life karma. So you have to kind of uh, even yourself up here and get yourself to where you're just dealing with your current karma. Um, and so, you know, this requires some effort in order to get, uh, to live down your past life karma. Um, that comes into play here a little bit, but we're, when we're talking about the fifth sphere, you know, again, the tree of life is basically a map of your consciousness. And each one of the spheres or circles here, along with the, the abyss and the zero above the tree, all 12 of them are faculties of our consciousness or abilities of our consciousness. And we, um, and so the fifth sphere is just one of those. This is our sense of justice. Now, when we fractalize the tree in order to get to the 144 instead of just 12, what we're doing is we're taking the whole tree, shrinking it down, and applying it to each sphere. So in this case, we're taking the fifth sphere and breaking it down into its 12 components. And in this particular case, number 63, we're looking at the eighth sphere. So we're what we're really talking about when we're talking about number 63 is the eighth sphere within the fifth sphere. And if you remember, the ace sphere is all about the consensus worldview. This is all about the, you know, powers that be, the establishment, the, um, it has to do with our belief systems and our rational faculties, our ability to 
uh, concretely to be able to put things into different categories according to their concrete or surface characteristics. Um, and uh, the ace sphere is also a trickster. It, it not is, it's not always telling you the truth. It can bend or twist the truth uh, as well. Um, so this, but this is basically, you know, what you get once you start going out into public. You start uh, getting the uh, consensus worldview. You know, the everybody knows that the, um, you know, that's just the way it is. This is the a sphere. So we're looking at the a sphere aspect within this whole fifth sphere aspect, and that's uh, number sixty-three. It's called conquest of violence, stolen moments. Number 63 is about resolute fighting against unnecessary violence, violation, and waste in our own lives, in our own lives. Public works or stolen land. Use nonviolent cr criteria to evaluate theft. It is not stealing, per se, that is against the code of ethics. It is fouling. It is violation. It is trespassing. It is not necessarily wrong to loot the suits. We can steal a moment from the powers that be's monologue. The suits often are so stuffed that they don't even notice something's missing. We'll be instantly rewarded for relieving their waste or what they were about to waste. Steals are permitted and even praised or prized in sport and nature, too. If we do not protect the ball, it will get stolen. If we do not protect our stuff, it will get eaten or stolen. Are stolen moments only a weapon of the weak? Not if we pick the battleground. If we make ourselves a moving target, if we stick lightly, tread lightly, move swiftly to steal a moment from the powers that be, from their airtime, from their monologue, from their monopoly, and then get out. Be a secret agent of nonviolence. Satyagraha, truth force. Nonviolent force use their own rules and resources to point out their own weaknesses. Take advantage of our invisibility. Have a trump card to throw them a curve when needed. Nonviolence is a way, nonviolence is a key to build sustainable alternatives outside of this culture. Calculate whatever leads to the least violence, the least waste, and violation, which is the touchstone, the natural criteria. The nonviolent end justifies the nonviolent means. God of war or goddess of preventing war? The sharp blades of nonviolence. Use our swords of truth to cut the ties that bind. Cut out our conditionings and attachments. And move forward further into the tr uh, teeth of the dread. Taking control of and assuming accountability for our own karma from religion. We begin to live down our own karma by realizing, by repenting, by reconciling, by forgiving ourselves, and by resolving to not do it again. Then we are leveled up and can begin to learn lessons from direct karmic feedback. All right, that is number 63 on the list of the 144 fractal faculties. That's the eighth fractal of the fifth sphere, conquest of violence. We'll have more to say about that in the near future, but for now, uh, thanks for tuning in, 
And uh, again, click the link in the, uh, in the description if you'd like to get the 144 f fractal faculties uh, list and uh, abstracts sent out to you for free. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I'll be uh, rolling out number 64 on this list coming up uh, hopefully, well, within, by tomorrow. Maybe, maybe, maybe today. Um, but stay tuned for that. And uh, have a great day. We'll see you soon.